Busy lives, multiple demands on our time, or perhaps a change in circumstances mean that for many of us a low maintenance garden is a must. But if you thought low maintenance meant bland, or worse still a garden that's paved over and bereft of plants, think again. Growing a gorgeous garden that's easy to look after just requires a little forward planning, as we'll show you in this video. Let's start with the lawn. Small, awkward shaped areas of lawn take longer to mow. Simplify things by straightening or smoothing edges. Lawns with hard edges are easier to mow with a wheeled mower and leave clippings on the grass. That way there's no need to dispose of them and they'll feed the lawn too. Even better is to replace out of the way areas of lawn of any size with beautiful wildflower meadows that only need strimming occasionally. Opt for a native wildflower mix suitable to your local conditions. Keep the shape of borders and beds straight or gently curved. Raised beds clearly delineate vegetable and herb growing areas and can help to bring the growing area closer to the gardener so they're easier to tend. Position elements of the garden requiring more maintenance closer to where you'll access them or next to your tool store or shed so there's less lugging about of tools and equipment. You can also replace narrow, winding paths with wider, straighter paths with edges flush to the lawn for quick mowing. Thirsty plants need regular watering, so grow for example salad leaves closer to a water outlet. If you have little time to water, then consider installing an automatic irrigation system. You can use our garden planner to help you efficiently design an irrigation system suitable for your garden. Select irrigation from the drop down menu, then position everything you'll need. Flexible components like soaker hoses can be curved like this. And you can click on the parts list button here to see exactly how much of each component you'd need to buy. Pots can require a lot of maintenance, all that watering and feeding. Grouping containers together or using fewer, larger pots slows the rate at which they dry out while making watering much quicker. If you're looking to save time, then grow bigger vegetables that don't need regular maintenance. For example, pumpkin and winter squash need little more than occasional watering once they're planted, while a block of corn will outgrow any weeds and can normally be left to its own devices until harvest time. For easygoing leaves, try chard and perpetual spinach, which will give a steady supply of leaves with little fuss if picked regularly, continuing for anything up to a year. Soft fruits like currants and autumn fruiting raspberries are a great choice for the low maintenance garden because once they're planted, they'll only need pruning once a year. Similarly, freestanding fruit trees such as apples and pears need minimal pruning and will give years of service in return. You can use the garden planner to select low maintenance crops. Click on the filter button, then select the easy to grow option. Click OK and the selection bar shows trouble-free choices to make growing worry-free. Trees and shrubs tend to be lower maintenance choices in most gardens. Pick ones suited to your soil and climate as they're more likely to thrive without any special care. Common easy care shrubs include Euonymus, Berberis, Magnolia and hardy herbs such as lavender. Many grasses require cutting back just once a year, for example Miscanthus or Carex, while ground covering perennials like Begonia, Geranium and Periwinkle will leave little room for weeds. Don't forget bulbs too, many of which will naturalise and pretty much look after themselves. Keep on top of weeds with thick mulches of organic materials such as bark chippings, which will help to feed the soil and the plants growing in it as they gradually rot down. Going low maintenance isn't about sacrificing what makes your garden special. It's about getting smart with your layout and choosing plants carefully. Please share your tips for making life easy in the garden in the comments section below. And of course we'll continue to bring you lots of time and labour saving tips that make gardening a real pleasure. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. I'll catch you next time.